Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before going to introduction to sets and their representation, first let me quickly introduce you guys to unit 1 of class 11 that is sets. The topics which comes out of this unit are introduction to sets and their representations, the empty set, finite and infinite sets, equal sets, subsets, power set, universal set, Venn diagrams, operations on sets, complement of a set. We will see all these topics one by one in my upcoming videos. So in this video, we will see introduction to sets and their representation. So first let's see what is the definition of set. What is a set? Set is a well-defined collection of objects. So here collection of object is nothing but group of objects or grouping the object on some particular basis. Say for example, we have rivers of India. So it's a group of rivers or you can say a cricket team. We have a group of cricket players or you can say a pack of cards. It's a collection of cards. But here set is nothing but it's a well-defined collection. So well-defined is nothing but collection that will not vary from person to person. So well-defined is nothing but collection that will not vary from person to person. Say for example, if I say what are the vowels in English alphabet? We all know what are vowels A, E, I, O, U. So this collection will not vary from person to person. So if I ask any person what are the vowels in English alphabet, this collection will remain the same. So that is A, E, I, O, U. So here the collection that will not vary from person to person, right? So therefore we can say it's a well-defined collection. Let me give another example. Set of months in a year. So we all know what are the months in a year? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this collection will not vary from person to person, right? On the other hand, if I say best teacher in your school so one student may say a b c is the best teacher another student may say x y z is the best teacher so here the collection is varying from person to person right so therefore this is not a well defined collection so set is nothing but it's a well-defined collection of objects. The collection what you get should not vary from person to person. I hope this is clear. Now let's see the representation of set. How do you represent the set? Alright, but before that pause the video and note this down. Now let's see representation of set. How do you represent a set? So sets are denoted by capital letters. So we can denote a set by any letter. We have A, B, C, D, etc. But they have to be in capital letters. Let's take the same example. We have vowels in English alphabet. So we know A, E, I, O, U. So this is a set of vowels. So it should be denoted by capital letters. Let's take A. Elements are represented by small letters. These are the elements of set A. So they have to be represented in small letters. And you will not repeat the elements. Here anyways the repetition is not there. So we will see that in another example. Can also be in any order. You can write this in any order. You can write A, I, E, O, U. Or you can also write U, O, I, A, E. So order doesn't matter. Alright. And also we have these elements are separated by commas. So these are separated by commas. And it's written inside the curly braces. So these have to be written inside the curly braces. So this is how you represent a set. So the set has to be denoted by capital letter. And the elements in the small letter separated by commas. And it should be kept inside the curly braces. So this is how we represent a set. Alright. Here you have to remember one more thing. If I say A is the element of set A. So this A is the element of set A. Which means A belongs to A. Right. So this is the symbol we use for belongs to. So here A belongs to set A. Similarly if I say Z. So Z is not present here, right? Z 
So does Z not belongs to A? So this is how you write not belongs to. So here A belongs to set A and Z not belongs to set A. So I hope this is clear. So there are two methods of representing a set. One is roster or tabular form. Another we have set builder form. This is actually a roster or a tabular form. We will see both but before that pause the video and note this down. So there are two methods of representing a set. We have roster or a tabular form. Another one we have set builder form. So let me give an example. Set of letters forming the word school. So set of letters forming a word school. So now you have to write this in roster or tabular form. So in raster, roster or tabular form, you are writing that the elements inside the curly braces separated by commas. So here the elements are S. Since they have given in uppercase, you will write them in uppercase. Otherwise the rule is to write the elements in the lowercase, right? So here we have in uppercase, so let's write in uppercase. So S, C, H, O. So here we have two O's. But we know inside we are not right, repeating the words, right? So only once you will write comma L. Let's close this curly bracket. So this is how you write in roster or tabular form. We can take this as set A. Let me give another example. Set of all positive even integers. Less than 7. So how do you write this in roster or tabular form? Let's take the set B which is equal to. Here they have said set of all positive even integers less than 7. So what are positive even in, uh, positive integers? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till less than 7. So till 6 right? But we want positive even integers. Only even integers. So we have 2, 4, and 6, right? So this is how you write in roster or tabular form. Now let's see what is set builder form. Here name itself says set builder which builds the set. In the previous example, here set of all positive integers less than 7. This is actually in the set builder form which says what the set has to be. But there is a rule to write this set in the set builder form. So you will take the set with any letter. Let's take V which is uppercase, right? which is equal to, you will write inside the curly braces, x. Here x is the element of the set. You will put this column and then you will write the property of this x. What is the property of this x? Say for example, we are writing vowels in English alphabet. You will write this x is, is a vowel in English alphabet. So this is how you write the set in set builder form. So here x is the element of the set and you have to write the property of that x. So in exam if they give in roster form they may ask you to write in set builder form or if they give in set builder form they may ask you to write in the roster form. Let me give another example. Okay let's take the previous example. Here we have b is equal to 2, 4, 6. So let's write this in the set builder form. So we have b is equal to x. X describes the elements. So where X is, what is the property of this element? So here X is positive even integers less than 7, right? So we are X is positive even integers less than 7. You can also write this set in slightly a different manner. Now if you observe here 2, 4, 6. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. So this is of the form 2 into something, right? Let's take that something as y. So you can write this set as x where the describes the element such that what is the property of the x? Here x is 2 into something. Let's take that something as y. This y has to be a natural number. Here y is 2 into 1, 1, 2, 3, right? So that y belongs to natural number up till where? So that y has to be less than or equal to 1, 2, 3. So 3. If 
you check here, so 2 into here y is less than or equal to 1, where y, y is also a natural number, so you will start with 1, right? So 1 means 2 into 1, so the set will be 2, next number will be 2, so 2 into 2, 2 2 is a 4, next y is 3, so 2 into 3, 3 2 3 is a 6, so y has to stop, right? Because it is less than or equal to 3, it will not take value 4, right? So in your set builder form, you can write in own words, but the output has to be same as in case, here in both the cases you will get 2, 4, 6, right? So this is how you write in set builder form. Now let's move on to problems, but before that pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this problem, here it says, write the solution set of the equation x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0 in roster form. So we have to write a solution set. So first let's find the solution to this equation. We have x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So here the roots are, when we add, we have to get plus x and when we multiply, you have to get plus into minus is minus 2x square. So 2 ones are, so here we have plus and minus, right? So x square plus 2x minus 1x minus 2 equal to 0. So here x is common, we left with x plus 2, so here minus 1, so minus into plus is minus is equal to 0, so the roots are x minus 1, here we have x plus 2 equal to 0, so this implies x minus 1 is equal to 0 and we have x plus 2 equal to 0, so here x is 1, x is equal to minus 2. So how do you write this solution set in the roster form? Let's take this set as any uh, with any letter. So let's take b which is equal to 1 comma minus 2. So this is in roster form. Now let's see the second one. Here it says write the set a which is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on in set builder form. So if you observe this set here we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16 and so on, right? So how can you write this? So A is equal to X which describes the element such that, what is the property of this X? So X is a square of natural number, agreed? So here X is a square of natural numbers. So X is a square of natural number. You can also write this as a is equal to x where x is of the form n square or you can write you can take n or y anything so let's take n square here n belongs to natural numbers right here condition doesn't require because it's an infinite if this set had till 25 then your condition would be where n has to be less than or equal to 5, right? Since it is continuous, this is not required. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see one last problem. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this. Here it says, match each of the set on the left in the roster form with the same set on the right described in set builder form. So here we have in roster form and here we have in set builder form. We have to match them. For that first, let's see the right hand side. So here it says, x such that x is a prime number and a divisor of 6. So it's a prime number. We know prime numbers. So here it is, which is greater than 1, right? So we have 2. What are prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. And it should be a divisor of 6. So 2 is a divisor of 6. 2, 3 is a 6, right? We have 2. 3 is also a divisor of 6. 3, 2 is a 6. 5 is not a divisor of 6. 7 is also not. So we have 2 comma 6, 3. So 2 comma 3. So we have to match this. Now let's see next. Here it says x such that x is an odd natural number less than 10. So we know natural numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Less than 10, right? So till 9. So they are saying it's an odd natural number. So odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So it, the set includes 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So this goes here. 
So next we have x such that x is a natural number and a divisor of 6. So it's a natural number. We know natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. So it should be a divisor of 6. See which all number can divide 6. So 1, it's included, right? So 1, 6 is a 6. So 2, 2, 3 is a 6. 3, 3, 2 is a 6. 4, it's not. 5 is also not. So 6, 6, 1 is a 6, right? So 7 is not, 8 is not. So only we have 1, 2, 3 and 6. They all can divide 6, right? So here it is. So this will go here. So last we have x such that x is a letter of word mathematics. So here m, a, t, h, e, m is repeated, right? So we are not writing that. a is also repeated, so we are not writing. So t is also repeated, i, c and s. So this goes here. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. I hope you understood today's topic. If you did, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.